We've got some some dark horses I've got, and I think everyone else has some dark horses in KA and X30. They've kind of got their eye on. Brandon, who you got your eye on so far? Uh, I'm going to go in the K senior field and go with uh, Connor Ferris. He's been really fast all year, pretty much at every race. He just uh, usually has unfortunate luck. He's in the beginning of the final or in the pre-final. That puts him in the back, but he's always fast enough, plenty fast enough to win. He just needs to put the race together. Yeah, he's... He's been quick everywhere. The, the last two seasons, he's been really good. I, th- I think, like you said, if he could put it together, it could be a pretty big, big weekend for him. Um, Ryan, who have you got looking on either list? Well, the thing about KA is after watching the local race, I have no idea who's going to win because there's so many locals there that are just like crazy quick. And like Alex Kardashian wasn't, you know, the fastest on Saturday, if I remember, but then he walked a field on Sunday. So I think it's. It's going to be by day. It's going to be a different driver. So I'm not even going to guess on that one. But I think a dark horse, an X30, I think someone you should watch out for is Nate Cicero. Uh, he's been like, he struggled a little bit in the beginning of the season, but he's finding his his rhythm and he's getting back in the seat. And and he's been doing some testing up in Oregon and getting, you know, just warmed up. And he's had some good results. I mean, at Utah, he finished third the one day and he was fighting for the win. You know, he was there. And then during the test weekend, um, a few weeks ago, he was also right there the whole week. So, I mean, I think he's got speed, and I think he's he's definitely finding his his pace to be back up front. Yeah. I mean, he's – and he was super impressive last year here. He ran the top five, uh, I think, both days all weekend, was mm-hmm. right in the group or, like, right in the second group in the KA class when he was running with X30 guys that were doing double duty. So, yeah, I, th- I think he'd be a really good pick to be good. Um, Connor, who have you got this weekend that you think could break out? Same thing with what Ryan said about K is just everyone in K is is pretty much at Road America. They're all locals and they're all really good at Road America. So I think that'll be a toss up on who who will win K. But in X thirty, uh, I think Colin Warren will do really well. He's been he's been racing L two hundred six for the last few years. Well, last few years he's been racing L two L two hundred six for a while now, and uh, he's finally getting a chance in X thirty senior. And he was at uh, Anderson, I think two weeks ago, racing against Tatulio, and he beat Tatulio both days. So I think he'll be. He'll be up front this weekend at Road America. Yeah, yeah and he's back on the OTK as well, which I think is definitely, you know, not to dig on TV because I think TV is a good chassis as well. But you know, it's there's not that many X30 guys on the TV, so you know, he was always kind of developing the cart on his own over there. So I mean, to be on an OTK, it's probably not a bad bad way to start the race. And it's cool to see him get the opportunity. Colin's not a guy that comes from a big budget behind him, and that's why we don't only see him. Uh, last X30 race he had was USPKS Ocala 2019, and he won that off a free entry when he won a Sunshine State race the week before. So he makes like starts here and there where he can, and I'm sure with uh, the new team, the Chad Dock and Racing guys helping him out a little bit to get him up there, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, he'd be interesting to see if he can get going up there because, like Ryan said, I think I think they had that cart figured out at certain tracks in Florida, and then sometimes they'd go down like down to Homestead and they'd struggle a little more. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a couple privateers we want to give some shout outs to. We always focus on our factory guys and I want to make sure we give a lot of love because you can run up front without being under the big tents. It helps. It's nice to have guys to compare data with, but we always want to give love to our favorite privateers that rough it on their own and do a good job. Elliot Podzinski, Braden, your boy, where, call it, where does he end up this weekend? He's running X30 with the big dogs again. Um, you know, he struggled there a little bit last year, but he's got the big upper body. He's got his height which uh, I think helps around that track. Low grip, probably give him some pointers, help him out. So, I don't know. I think, uh, think uh, you know, at the worst, probably finish P1. <laughs> that's, a big, that's a big call with four of his competitors in here. That's some shots fired right there. <laughs> um, he'd be good. And uh, Alex Noah was super fast on Friday last year. He's there. He's a longtime privateer, does it himself. Uh, really cool. And a shout out to Alex. They've been ra- He's been racing for quite a few seasons with PKS. Um, and I'd say in KA, one kid, I think that if he can make the right decisions, I think the speed was there last year was Brian Redding. And KA was still pretty big last year. He's one of the Wisconsin local kids. I think, I don't know if he's closer to Road America or to Badger Cart Club. He's really fast. And then I think in both days, one way or another, he got tagged in a wreck. And he was just kind of like, um, you know, putting himself in a bad spot. It wasn't necessarily his fault of like causing the wreck. But as everyone here knows, like you can put your cart in certain positions where 
you open the door for someone to wreck you if they want to take the opportunity. And at the big level, you just can't open the door to get knocked off the racetrack by hanging on the outside. But I think if he knocks that out, I think he's there. I think he could be really good. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it, man. There's really a lot of the main people we've got in X30 are back. Obviously, we've got our guys here in this channel back. Connor is everybody's pick right now in the rain. I don't know if anyone would have the humility to go head to head with him. We'll see. We'll see, Ryan, Brandon, Hope Paulie, so. if you guys can turn it up, right? Um, but in, in the dry, it's going to be super interesting. We're going to get to have a lot of fun this weekend.